Hey guys, how's it going? James here, and today we're going to be fixing watchdogs in this game fix. And I've done some research across the internet, and I've noticed that a lot of people are having problems with this game. Performance issues, micro-studying, and things like that. Now this game does have a pretty, pretty heavy system requirement settings, but I can play this game very playable on my GTX 460M 1.5 gigabytes of GDDR5. So that means you guys on lower video cards can play it too, and if you're experiencing lag, whether you're on a high-end video card, mid or low-end video card, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we start, make sure if you're an NVIDIA user, you have the latest NVIDIA drivers, and if you're an AMD user, make sure you have the latest AMD drivers. Yes, that means AMD users users will be able to enjoy their game as well. So go into your control panel, whether you're on Catalyst Control Suite or NVIDIA, and you're going to go into your 3D settings. You're going to set a profile for watchdogs, okay? So go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings, you're going to add watchdogs. You should be, if you played it recently, it should be in your recently used list. Scroll down to change some settings. If you're a notebook user like I am, your power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Don't let it on adaptive because that's only necessary when you're on battery. Okay, now vertical sync, cut it off. That's it. That's all you do. Make sure vertical sync is off. Hit apply, and this is all you have to do NVIDIA control panel wise or Catalyst control panel wise. And now we're going to go into game and configure some other settings. So now I got Watch Dogs open, and I'm going to go into my options and show you guys what I'm working with here, okay? Display, my I have it on 900p. I can't run it um, on the settings I want at 1080p, so I'm playing at 900p. That way I can run on the settings I want. My textures are on high. You can change these, but if you change the textures from ultra or high to medium, you are definitely going to notice it. Anti, aliasing, make sure you, that, make sure you know that that is off. Um, even though it's on 1600 by 900, you know, some of the little frayed pixels don't bother me at all. But if you go into anti thing, make sure it is FXAA or Temporal SMAA, which is usually what I run my on. So you go into your graphics quality and you change yours to what match you. I can play this on just about medium with depth, depth of field off. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know what are the major FPS killers. Shadows are, and for some odd reason, water. If I turn water on high, my frames will go from... 35 to 20 just like that just from having water on high but it doesn't really bother me having off a cut off shadows on low i got hbao plus low ambient occlusion doesn't affect my gameplay so we'll go ahead and show you what i'm talking about so um you can't see fraps at the bottom right hand of my screen but i have it on and i'll be telling you my frames as they are here so right now loading it it's stuck on 30 and it's going up to 40 in the 70s 40 again 15, 8, 5. Okay, yeah, no, we're just gonna wait for this to load. Nothing too big here. But if you experience any lag or any kind of delays while you're viewing this, that's probably because of open broadcaster software. Sometimes it tends to do that when I'm recording at 1080p. So I do apologize in advance for that. But right here, the game settings, everything looks really good. It doesn't matter. Um, and if you're pay playing it on a PS4 or a Xbox One, you're already playing it in 1600p. Just, I mean, 1600 by 900p, just straight off the bat. It's not 1080p, but they're locked at 30 frames per second. So, you can get those same graphics, PS4 graphics, on a lower end card just by following these steps. So, I'm not going to cut the video here. I mean, you know, I'm going to move around a bit so you guys can see the movement, and hopefully it doesn't, you know, it doesn't tear for you, but right here, my um, frames are in the 30s right now. Um, just a little bit, just a little bit of lag from the recording, but as you see, it's extremely playable, and it still looks really good. Shadows are off, but all the other settings still make it a very good looking game, and makes it very playable for you. So go ahead and exit this game now. Um, so... Now that you've seen that, I hope this video helps you, and stay tuned after the video to see some screenshots I took, and not many, but some screenshots I took of the game running with these new configurated settings. So, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Also, I will be doing a Let's Play on this game on my gaming channel, so check that out. Link will also be in the description. Show me some love, guys, alright? Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, take care. Peace.